like I stated in a, one of my past YouTube videos, I managed to pick up this roll of aluminum flashing um, for 20 bucks uh, quite a few years ago and I've been using it for different projects. What I've done is cut a piece of it to make a uh, foam covered wing or a, should I say a aluminum covered uh, foam wing. That's the one part in process and this is before I fold it over. I've used the product that's designed for polystyrene. It's a 3M high strength 90 spray adhesive to attach the foam to the aluminum skin. As you can see it's blue on the one side. The reason I was able to pick it up so inexpensively was the fact that the uh, blue plastic adhesive or protective cover um, does not want to come off. Now you probably can't see it but I have uh, cut this wing form down from that side size and I've sprayed along the trailing edge the uh, adhesive so when this edge comes down which I've already sprayed the two will mate together and I'll have a flat surface on the one side and the other side will uh, give me a nice airfoil design hopefully the thing I like about this aluminum flashing is you can lightly well not lightly but you can score it with a uh, exacto knife along one edge or the edge you want to cut or the line you want to cut and uh, bend it back and forth and it breaks off nicely exactly where you cut it or want to cut it. Voila. Now I'm forming the uh, leading edge by putting this tube which is slightly smaller diameter uh, ideally it should have been the same size as the front edge of this foam but it'll work if I don't push it too hard and what I'll do is I'll form this back over and make the uh, trailing edges uh, meet up okay so there I have two partial foam core blades and uh, still got a little bit of work to do on them I've got a make up a mounting point and uh, make that uh, fairly solid so that when these start spinning around um, it won't pull right through. They're light enough though that uh, and that's the main point with going with the skin and the foam is to lighten the mechanism up so when it starts spinning around at uh, 500-600 RPMs that it doesn't uh, want to fly apart. That gives me an opportunity to show you how I made these blades. I don't know if the camera is going to show it, but uh, if you look up, you can see right through. They're hollow inside to a certain degree. There's a foam core with the aluminum skin. And then I've got these tubes that uh, I can move. There's one right there. I can move it backwards if I want to uh, change this airfoil here. Um, the front of it I formed by putting the tube in here to begin with and bending the sheet over it. So I've got both of the airfoils bent over a one uh, an eighth uh, tube. And then I've got these one inch tubes, as I say, inserted here. I can roll them backwards or forwards wherever I want to, to change the airfoil.
no wind showing but with that uh, little touch the blades accelerated up to the speed they're doing right now you can see the flag just slightly twitches once in a while and here they are flying got a wind blowing less than half a meter per second in town today oh there's a little gust we'll see what happens might blow them to pieces because they're only mounted on the single 